p.m. I would like to call the Tiffin City Council meeting of August 1st, 2022 to order. The invocation and Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Council Member Jones. <coughs> Please follow me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, thank you. I will now ask the clerk to call the roll, please. Councilmember Jones. Present. Leopard. Here. Terry. Here. Barr. Here. Thacker. Here. Wilkins. Here. Let the record show that six of six council members are present. Um, minutes, uh, hopefully everyone has had a chance to review them. Are there any additions, deletions, corrections, or questions? Okay, seeing none, the minutes will stand approved as presented. Committee reports, finance committee, anyone from the finance committee have a report? No report, Madam President. Thank you. Long community planning, Councilman Leppard. No report, Madam President. Thank you. Materials and equipment, Councilman Jones. No report at this time, Madam President. Thank you. Personnel and labor relations, Councilman Perry. No report, Madam President. Thank you. Recreation and public property, Council Member Wilkins. No report, Madam President. Thank you. Anyone, or excuse me, the street sidewalks and sewers, anyone from that committee? No report, Madam President. You oh, I'm yeah. sorry. I do have a report. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Street Sidewalk and Sewer Committee meeting was held July 21st, 2022 at 4.30 p.m. in the Mark Hayes Committee Room. Attending were committee members Steve Leppard, Ken Jones, and Dan Perry, along with City Engineer Matt Watson, Director of Law Brent Howard, City Administrator Dale Thornton, Mayor Don Yanantuno, and Danny Yanantuno. Leppard called the meeting to order and stated that the purpose of the meeting was to discuss the mayor's request for legislation 22-24, Ohio Public Works grant for street, resurface, street resurfacing and any other business presented. Engineer Watson informed the committee that the 2023 application for this grant is due on September 23rd, 2022, with a review date of October 4th, 2022. City Engineer Watson suggests that we request a 0% loan in the amount of $500,000 for the resurfacing of Ann Street from Circular to Main, East Davis Street from Sandusky to Elwood, Elm Avenue north of Seneca, 4th Avenue, Mall Road, 4th Avenue, Mall Road to Park Avenue, all of Greenfield Street, all of Industrial <coughs> Avenue, River Road North, north of the Tiffin Developmental Center, Sycamore Street, Ella to Monroe, and all of Westwood Drive. The, resurfing, the resurfacing is estimated, estimated to be $650,000 and will be paid with $150,000 from the Road and Bridge Levy Fund and $500,000 from the OPWC Pavement Repair Program. The $500,000 grant would be repaid over an eight-year span but the city engineer suggests that we pay the loan off in five. Due to increased cost, increased cost, the Ellis Street Bridge project will cost $1 million more than anticipated. 300,000 was cut from the 2023 street paving, so the bridge would be paid for without borrowing any money. The OPW grant will restore the dollars that were pulled from the 2023 street paving to ensure the Ellis Street Bridge project would be paid for without funding. The city plans to spend $1.25 million paving city streets in 2023. This includes $600,000 in ODOT urban paving grant funds. Councilmember Perry introduced a motion to have the Director of Law prepare legislation authorizing the mayor to prepare and submit an application to participate in the Ohio Public Works Commission Revolving Loan Fund for street resurfacing in 2023 
and to execute contracts as required in declaring an emergency. Councilman Jones seconded the motion and the motion passed by a three to zero vote. The committee had discussion concerning sidewalks after receiving an email from an area resident. City Engineer Watson informed the committee that the Tiffin sidewalk program was active beginning in 2001 through 2011 and again in 2015 and 2017. The committee was provided with sidewalk program estimated timeline that was developed in 2013 for our review and explanation. Engineer Watson believes that this program may have ended due to budget and staffing, but he assured us that if the city desires to return to this program, his department is staffed adequately to accept the challenge. Engineer Watson would suggest in the future the sidewalk pro program follow two years behind street paving. The city is 70% compliant with ADA standards and only 51% of the city actually has sidewalks. The committee took no action but wishes that property owners would maintain sidewalks as required by the codified ordinances. No further business, committee adjourned at 5.16 p.m. Thank you. Any questions for Councilman Leopard? Okay, thank you very much. Economic development and downtown planning, anyone from that committee have a report? No report, Madam President. Thank you. Um, committee of the whole, so they wouldn't see the need for a committee whole meeting at this time. Okay, seeing none, we, were, we are now under reports of the officers. Her Honor, Mayor Don Yanatuno. Thank you, Madam President. I actually have my first big report this evening, so bear with me. I've been on the job almost two weeks now, and I have been very busy and loving it. I was asked what I would do in my first 100 days by Council Member per Wilkins, and so here's my response to that so far. Nick has been great on scheduling me. I have met with all departments and available personnel this week, and it even drove a bobcat, which now has 1,700 <laughs> likes on it now, so pretty exciting. But Nick did not get me pictured in there, but I really was driving it. I have met with TSEP CEO Aaron Mont, all three commissioners, county commissioners, Bryce Riggs and his staff at the Chamber and Visitors Bureau, and also met with the new Tiffin City School Superintendent Ben Richards. I also went out to the Sheriff's Department for their drone presentation to the Area Alliance Clubs with Project Lifesaver. I stopped in to the Seneca County Fair and visited the Bridges Academy with their open house. I also had the privilege of swearing in firefighters in their new positions and witnessing the bestowing of three medals of honor. Channel 13 also covered their story the next day. I will be spending the day with the city administrator on Friday in Finley at the Ohio Municipal League Conference. Lots to learn and good networking opportunities for myself, so I thought that would be a good idea. Uh, none of this includes the extensive internal meetings I've attended or the never-ending emails to answer. It is unbelievable the number of emails on this job. I still plan to visit the area businesses beginning with downtown. I've asked Nick to carve out some afternoon time frames in the near future for me to start doing that. As we have a very new crew on city council, I still hope to make calls before the council meetings to answer your questions because I, I know you'll have questions and I'll try to help you with that. And then for upcoming events, Jay Kyle is the Thursday night tunes artist performing at the East Green Amphitheater Thursday evening. He and his band Bigfoot's Brother gave a great performance during our 4th of July celebration. Also on the East Green, the next performer for the 2022 concert series is the RTs at 8 p.m. Saturday. Saturday morning, visit downtown Tiffin for yoga on the East Green at 9 a.m. And the Tiffin Seneca Farmer's Market will be on Washington Street also. Next week, Soul Pilot returns for Thursday Night Tunes with the annual band bash taking place on August 18th, which is that's all the area school bands will be playing, which is the same night as the next Thursday, third Thursday in downtown Tiffin. And as a reminder, the last day for the city pool is August 14th. And that is my report. Awesome. Questions for the mayor? Okay, thank you. Um, Clerk of Council, Ann Forrest. No report, Madam President. Thank you. Director of Finance, Kathy Kaufman. No report, Madam President. Okay, thank you. And Director of Law, Brent T. Howard. Yes, uh, thank you. Um, just a couple items. Um, in your packet is Resolution 22-23. Uh, and uh, that uh, resolution um, authorizes the city's participation in Region 17 <coughs> 
of the governance for uh, some of the opioid settlement funds that um, is, are being distributed in the state. Um, the one item that is really um, uh, new that you could focus on and that you may have reviewed are the bylaws of, of Region 17. You may recall that last year, uh, the city received notice of the um, opioid settlement and you approved uh, a memorandum of understanding that uh, set forth uh, various facts related to the participation of the, of the settlement. Um, that is still the kind of guiding document for all political subdivisions in the state of Ohio. And uh, one of the, the steps that you need to take is to pass this resolution that approves your participation in Region 17. The state is made up of various regions and that is used to participate in um, funding requests for um, opioid abatement strategies. And you can see that that's also a document that's in your packet. It was also, I think, provided to you last year. Um, keen in on the, the bylaws that were the, the recent document that was created. That is, was created by um, eight counties one of which is Seneca County. And uh, the eight counties have sent representatives to create uh, a structure bylaws. And I believe that all the regions have considered something similar. And what it does is, and if you look at the document, there's a few highlights. Each of the eight members um, have uh, representatives. Um, each of the counties have representatives on the, the region board. So you will work with the other political subdivisions in, of Seneca County to have, a, um, have representatives um, on the, the region uh, board. Um, the region board 17 will appoint one member to the statewide foundation board. And that's important <coughs> because ultimately this foundation board will receive requests for funding. And that's the one section I also want, want to make sure that you key in on, and it's Article 11, funding requests. And the, the funding requests are supposed to be submitted to the county representative. So as a city, if we come up with projects, programs that we believe qualify for funding uh, regarding the opioid crisis, then we submit those to our county representative to go through Region 17 to then eventually go to the State of Ohio Foundation, is called, for um, funding for our program. Um, I know this sounds like a um, kind of a, uh, a bureaucratic uh, method process, and it is, but it's designed so that there is representation throughout the state, that there is a structure to receive these funding requests. And so it's something that we should all be thinking about. And I believe you know, certain um, members of uh, uh, the city, in particular the, um, uh, maybe the mayor's office and uh, the police department, um, they uh, will be looking at ways uh, that we could help uh, our community with the, the funding that is available. But your step in the process initially is to approve this resolution because all the political subdivisions within Region 17 need to do that. The next uh, meeting of uh, Region 17 is August the 5th, later this week. Um, they would like to have these um, resolutions approved as soon as possible. Um, my recommendation is that you do approve it. I don't think that there's anything in the bylaw structure that unfairly um, um, treats the city of Tiffin differently than any other political subdivision. It just creates that structure, that mechanism for us to have representation on the region and then ultimately representation at the, uh, the statewide foundation. And as again, for uh, the funding request that will be um, um, produced locally and then through the process. So are there any questions? I know you had an opportunity before the meeting to receive the and to review the, the resolution. Again, the only item that really is new is the bylaws. 
the memorandum of understanding, the opioid um, um, set of our strategies, abatement strategies, those are things that you had access to before and you probably have reviewed. It's just the bylaws are really the only new document. So are there any questions about um, um, the, the bylaws or um, the structure that is being created? Questions for the law director? The only other item that I have is that for the new council members, I will uh, be sending you an orientation memo, which will lay out some of the, uh, uh, the procedures that are followed by council, some of the applicable laws. Uh, the one thing that I do want to bring to your attention is that um, you have a now a short time frame to file a um, financial disclosure statement. We all as political sub or, um, public officials we are subject to um, the uh, financial disclosure laws of the state of Ohio, the ethics laws. And so we have that obligation annually. And as somebody who is um, appointed, you have a short time frame. And I, Vicki probably remembers, what is it, 15 days? I think it's 15, yeah. So it's within 15 days of your appointment. <clears throat> you can do it online. I'll be more than happy to help you. I'm going to be out of town here in the next week or so, um, but um, if you go online, you should be able to, um, under Ohio Ethics Commission, I'll send you the link um, later this evening. But I wanted to make sure that you're aware of this, because there are fines if you don't um, file it timely. Um, I'm not sure that you would otherwise know unless somebody locally might, might tell you. And it's something that you have to do, we all have to do on an annual basis. So I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of that but I'll um, make sure that you get um, uh, information. If you make sure that you give me your email addresses um, and you'll have that. That uh, concludes my report. Are there any questions for me? Any questions for the law director? Thank you. Thank you. We are now under written communications. Thank you. We have Mayor's Request for Legislation number 22-26, Traffic Signal Improvement Project for Circular Street and Clinton Avenue. Mayor's Request for Legislation number 22-26 will be referred to the Street Sidewalks and Sewers Committee. Mayor's Request for Legislation number 22-27, Appointment to Civil Service Commission, Jack Bohr. <coughs> Mayor's Request for Legislation number 22-27 will be referred to the Personnel and Labor Relations Committee. Mayor's request for legislation number 22-28, appointment to planning commission, Brandy Schwartz. Mayor's request for legislation number 22-28 will be referred to the personnel and labor relations committee. Mm -hmm. Finance director's request for legislation number F22-30 mm -hmm. to amend the 2022 budget ordinance 21-105 to appropriate funds into the police capital budget. Finance, dir finance director's request for legislation F22-30 will be held on file in the clerk's office as ordinance 22-69 is prepared for tonight's evening, for tonight's meeting. Finance director's request for legislation number F22-31 to amend the 2022 budget ordinance 21-105 to appropriate additional funds into the council professional services budget. Finance Director's request for legislation F22-31 will be held on file in the clerk's office. Ordinance 22-70 is prepared for tonight's meeting. Finance Director's request for legislation number F22-32 to amend the 2022 budget ordinance 21-105 to appropriate additional funds into the sewer construction budget. Finance Director's request for legislation F22-32 will be held on file in the clerk's office. Ordinance 22-77-71, excuse me, um, is prepared for tonight's um, meeting. And then we have notice from the Ohio Division of Liquor Control uh, for a, a D5 permit, a new D5 permit for Excare to incorporate doing business as Excare Mexican Restaurant. This request will be referred to the Street Sidewalks and Sewers Committee. And then we have the self-nomination of Kevin Reisner for third ward council member dated July 27th, 2022. Uh, this will be held on file in the clerk's office. And that concludes the written communications. Thank you. Yes, Councilman Leppard. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Uh, the Street Sidewalk and Sewer Committee has uh, conferred and we approve the ex uh, Division of Liquor Control License 
and uh, we ask that the uh, uh, clerk of council uh, file this with the liquor control board and we do not request a hearing. Thank you. Anything else for written communications? Okay, we are now under oral communications. Anyone wishing to address council may step to the podium, sign in and direct their questions to myself. Okay, uh, we are now under motions. Are there any motions this evening? Okay, seeing none, we are now under resolutions and ordinances. Resolution number 22-22, introduced by Steve Leppard. Resolution authorizing the mayor to prepare and submit an application to participate in the Ohio Public Works Commission, OPWC, revolving loan program for street resurfacing in 2023 to execute contracts as required and declaring an emergency. This is the first reading of resolution 22-22. Resolution number 22-23, introduced by Steve Leppard. Resolution approving the City of Tiffin's participation in Region 17 governance structure under the One Ohio Memorandum of Understanding and declaring an emergency. This is the first reading of Resolution 22-23. Councilman Leppard. Uh, thank you. I would ask for suspension of City Council's three reading rule and passage of Resolution number 22-23. Thank you. There's a motion to suspend resolution 22-23. Is there a second? Councilman Perry. I second that, President. There's a motion and a second to suspend resolution 22-23. Is there any discussion? Councilman Jones. Thank you, Ma <clears throat> Thank you, Madam President. I know we've discussed this in length in the committee the whole meeting, and I think the people at home on TV or their cell phones don't come in till 7 p.m. <clears throat> It'd be nice if someone would explain the need for suspending the three reading rule. So I think this is the explanation actually the law director gave in his committee report, or excuse me, his report of the officer. So um, I don't wanna have him go through that all, all again as that was with it, but essentially our step in the process of this is to approve this resolution ideally before the next um, meeting, which is held on 8-5 for um, the Please. Region 17. The Region 17 meeting, thank you. So okay. that's that's why we're asking for suspension this evening. Is there any other discussion? Okay, seeing none, we will uh, first vote on the suspension. Council Member Jones. Yes. Leopard. Yes. Perry. Yes. Spar. Yes. Thacker. Yes. Wilkins. Yes. I gotta get used to those names. <laughs> <laughs> suspension passes with a vote of six to zero. We will now vote on the emergency. Council Member Jones? Yes. Leopard? Yes. Perry? Yes. Spar? Yes. Thacker? Yes. And Wilkins? Yes. <clears throat> Emergency passes with a vote of six to zero. We will now vote on the passage. Council Member Jones? Yes. Leopard? Yes. Perry? Yes. Spar? Yes. Thacker? Yes. And Wilkins? Yes. Resolution 22-23 passes with a vote of six to zero. Ordinance number 22-62, introduced by Steve Leopard. Ordinance amending 2022 Budget Ordinance 21-105 to appropriate $1,000 into the Director of Communications budget for photography work for the City of Tiffin website. This is the third reading of Ordinance 22-62. Councilman Leppard. Uh, thank you. I would ask for passage of Ordinance number 22-62. Thank you. There's a motion for passage of Ordinance 22-62. Is there a second? Motion. Council Member Wilkins. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I said yes. <laughs> Not there's, a, there's a motion and a second for passage of Ordinance 22-62. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, I'll ask the clerk to call the vote on the passage, please. Council Member Jones? Yes. Leopard? Yes. Spar? Yes. Thacker? Yes. Wilkins? Yes. Ordinance 22-62 passes with a vote of six to zero. Ordinance number 22-69, introduced by Steve Leppard. Ordinance amending 2022 budget ordinance 21-105 to appropriate a total of $55,000 into the police capital budget. This is the first reading of ordinance 22-69, Councilman Leppard. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I would ask for uh, suspension of city council's three reading rule and passage of ordinance number 
22-69. Thank you. There is uh, a motion to suspend council's three reading rule and passage of ordinance 22-69. Is there a second? Councilman Perry. Yeah, I'll second that. Thank you. There's a motion and a second for suspension of 22-69. Is there any discussion? Councilman Jones. Thank you, Madam President. This is uh, new to us and for the residents who are in the audience and at home, this 55,000 is going, wait, 45,000 is going to police vehicle capital budget, 10,000 grant from the Tiffin Community Foundation for body worn worn cameras. I answer my own question. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, we will first vote on the suspension. Council Member Jones. Yes. Leopard. Yes. Perry. Yes. Spar. Yes. Thacker. Yes. Wilkins. Yes. Suspension passes with a vote of six to zero. We will now vote on the passage. Council Member Jones. Yes. Leopard. Yes. Perry. Yes. Spar. Yes. Thacker. Yes. And Wilkins. Yes. Ordinance 22-69 passes with a vote of six to zero. Ordinance number 22-70 introduced by Steve Leppard. Ordinance amending 2022 budget ordinance 21-105 to appropriate $500 into the council professional services budget. <clears throat> this is the first reading of ordinance 22-70. Ordinance number 22-71 introduced by Steve Leppard. <clears throat> ordinance amending 2022 budget ordinance 21-105 to appropriate $48,500 into the sewer construction budget. This is the first reading of Ordinance 22-71. Councilman Leopard. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I would ask for a suspension of City Council's three reading rule and passage of Ordinance Number 22-71. Thank you. There's a motion to suspend um, the three reading rule for Ordinance 22-71. Is there a second? Councilman Perry. I'll second that. Thank you. There's a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? Councilman Jones. Thank you, Madam President. I see on this 48.5M goes into some manhole on 2nd Avenue. I can't tell you how many manholes are in, but what area is this manhole? It's more than one. Uh, yes, uh, Director of Finance, sorry. Thank you, Madam President. Um, yeah, I talked to Brandon Bernard of this week and it's, it's all of the manholes in that area, and it's a rehab, hopefully. That's why he wants us to suspend it so he can get started on stabilizing those so that we can repair rather than replace, because it would probably be twice as much the cost if we had to replace them. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Um, seeing none, we will first vote on the suspension. Councilmember Jones. Yes. Leopard. Yes. Perry. Yes. Spar. Yes. Thacker. Yes. Wilkins. Yes. The suspension passes with a vote of six to zero. We will now vote on the passage. Councilmember Jones. Yes. Leopard. Yes. Perry. Yes. Spar. Yes. Thacker. Yes. And Wilkins. Yes. Ordinance twenty two dash seventy one passes with a vote of six to zero. And that concludes the ordinances, Madam President. Thank you. <clears throat> we are now under other business. Um, so during this time, I like to uh, discuss the appointment of the third board council member and to follow the process that was approved by council during our special meeting that took place on 725. Um, <clears throat> we will at this time allow for the, the candidate, which I believe we just have one, um, come to the podium and express their interest to council. And after that, we will allow council to ask any questions. Thank you. Can everybody hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Madam Mayor, Madam President, and Council Members, I'd like to express my sincere gratitude for your consideration in continuing the great work Mayor Iantuno has already begun in Ward 3. My decision to offer myself for this seat involved a lot of soul searching and the valued input from countless people. I'd especially like to thank everyone who has encouraged me to turn my ambition into action, especially my family, friends, neighbors, and those in this city government past and present. You all inspire us very much. I grew up about a mile southwest of the Tiffin City limits, attending St. Joseph Elementary and Hope Loudon High School. Then I earned my associates in business at Terra State Community College and uh, my bachelor's in business management at Indiana State Uni Indiana Institute of Technology, all while working full time. 
Since then, I completed many postgraduate classes at Tiffin University. From 2012 to 2018, I gained experience at several large international organizations living out of state, but ultimately concluded that Tiffin is where I really wanted to be. In my final year of while living in Washington, the Washington, D.C. area, I was a full-time contractor at the administrative office of the U.S. Courts, where I was granted a public trust security clearance. Being involved in government functionality sparked an immense sense of civic satisfaction, as it is indeed for the greater good. During those times, I continued to contemplate the words of advice from a mentor I had once worked with here in town. Uh, he owned a pizza business, and I worked there while I was a student. And when I gave my notice that I was departing the job and leaving for my next opportunity, he said, don't forget where you came from. After turning, returning to Tiffin in 2019, while continuing to work full-time at ICP, I also worked uh, part-time at the 2020 Census to help ensure all residents of our area were included in the national count, also passing a federal background check for that position. I have served on condominium boards while of state and regularly serve as a precinct election officer and volunteer quite often for various organizations. It goes without saying we all deeply care about this great community. I think it's about, it's an important responsibility of every council member to have a thorough understanding of the area in which they represent, especially the feelings of the constituents who live and work there. As each member casts their vote on important issues, they must confidently vote from their heart. As I speak to folks around town, the community certainly understands their elected representation, do disagree sometimes because everyone has their own bias. The important part is how we respectfully communicate our point of view while we attentively listen to each other. After all, healthy debate fights the threat of groupthink. Differing opinions can actually spawn creativity. My work ethic emphasizes organizational success by effective problem solving and project management through effective, fair leadership and fiscal responsibility. I humbly offer these to apply these values to this council. As I've been following past city council meetings, rest assured, I will hit the ground running as an effective member and share the vision of Tiffin's success well into the future. Thank you again for your consideration. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> to follow the process, um, I'd like to go through um, to ensure that if, if any council member has questions that we, um, we address them and, and go through them. So uh, in starting of order of roll call, council member Jones, do you have any questions? Mr. Thank Reeser. You. Thank you, Madam President. Yes, Mr. Reeser, appreciate you um, putting your resume in and I like the start of your, well, if I do need a resume, I think I'll call on you. I'm starting off on the front thing, uh, Bachelor of Business Administration, I followed that. Mm -hmm. At the tail end, it really caught my eye. You are a member of the, where is it, year eight? Citizen Police Academy, that's a big plus in mine, and poll worker, et cetera, et cetera. But in between, I guess, operating systems, security and networking, senior cloud, I don't know what that is. We'll come back to that one. You can talk to me in layman's terms on that. Virtualization and storage. Why don't you just touch on those two for me? What is a senior cloud project manager? Uh, this is a, the cloud is a, um, every company, every organization has their IT systems on either on premise or in the cloud. Um, the servers, the infrastructure, it's either inside the buildings of the organization or it goes out through the internet connection and then it's managed and hosted by a um, hosting company. And usually that's that either out in Virginia, Columbus, there's, there's major places where there are data center um, areas. So Loudoun County is a big one in Virginia. And that's uh, while I was working out there, I was, I was in that area. Okay. 
And then next one, these big words to me, virtualization and storage integration engineer. What is that in layman's terms? Okay, virtualization is the process of taking a file server in the IT world and, and basically turning it into a set of files that act like a server. And then those can run, those can coexist on one piece of hardware. So um, your computer at home likely has virtualization technology built in. Okay. Okay, well, I can see I'm not going to stump you, so that's all I had. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Councilmember Leppard. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, what, what brings the most pride to you when you say Tiffin, Ohio? Oh, a number of things. This, this is a community that is, um, it's, it's uh, quiet. It's, it has all, a lot of the elements of, that you can catch in larger cities, but uh, they're here. Um, probably the one thing that kind of put me over the edge to move back was when I heard we got a Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> so... So are you available at 11 o'clock at night when I have problems with Microsoft? <laughs> <laughs> Correct answer. Correct answer. <laughs> Any other questions, Councilman Lefford? No, I'm okay. good. Thank you. Uh, Councilmember Perry. Thank you. Uh, just one question. Um, what pizza place did you work for and who's the owner at the time? Oh, it was Larry Elkert. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah. That's why I kind of figured, so. Um, yeah, just thank you for uh, reading over your uh, resume and stuff. It's uh, impressive. So thank you for uh, coming for the seat and uh, appreciate you being here. Thanks. Thank you. Council Member Thacker. You're next on my list. Do you get a question? Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I skipped over you. I'm sorry. Council Member uh, no, I don't really. Uh, congratulations on, uh, on stepping forward and uh, thanks for doing that. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Council Member Thacker. Um, well, I appreciate Steve's questions. I have kind of the opposite. What what sort of troubles or what what sort of parts of Tiffin do you see yourself helping to improve? Um, Tiffin is on a great uh, progress toward has a great momentum over, all over. Uh, I see a lot of every place you look that was uh, five years ago is just on a path to improvement. So my my opinion is we, we are on a great path toward improvement. We just don't wanna interrupt that path. We don't want to um, go, go in the, the wrong direction or slow down. Uh, but overall, I, I see just about every area of, of the town is, has got some uh, good progress going. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? I'm good, okay. thank you. Council Member Wilkins. Uh, Ke Kevin, it's good to see you again. Uh, we've done some networking uh, through Tiffin University, so it's nice to see you. Um, just one question for me. Um, since you've been back since 2019, what's the uh, most exciting thing that you feel like has happened in the city of Tiffin since you've come back? I was excited to see the common area down here, the, the national corner. That, that really... Um, I've seen that in a lot of other cities I've been in, and when I seen it here, I thought this is great. We're we're following along. We're doing the, doing the right thing and getting. We're we're not trying to differentiate ourselves too much, but we're 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 trying to um, uh, follow a good model. So. Thank you. Awesome. No other questions. Um, I'd like to move into the vote at this time. Um, Law Director, if I could ask you, would it be appropriate as there is only one candidate to do a yes or no vote versus the calling out by name, or should I continue to follow process of the... Yeah, I think you oh, should follow yeah. process okay. to have a roll call vote. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> Clerk of Council, if I could ask you to call the roll for the vote of the third ward uh, council member. Council member Jones. Yes. Leopard. Yes. Perry. Yes. Spar. Yes. Thacker? Yes. Wilkins? Yes. Awesome, so that passes with a vote of six to zero. Congratulations, Mr. Reeser. Happy to have you on board. Um, one other item of business, now that we have a couple new council members on, is I would like to assign uh, 
few outstanding committee assignments. Um, so Council Member Thacker, I would like to assign you to Street Sidewalks and Sewers Committee. I'm sure Steve will be very pleased to get that off of his plate. And then uh, Council Member Spar, I would like to assign you to Economic Development and Downtown Planning. Awesome, thank you. Um, I believe there is one item of business for Street Sidewalk and Sewer Committee if you would like to uh, try to schedule a meeting for that. Sure, um, let's see here, I'll pull up my calendar. Is anyone willing to meet Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m.? I'm good. If I need to be there, I cannot. We've already got a three o'clock meeting. Okay, so it's for the... Could you schedule a little earlier, a little later that same day? Earlier, yes. Earlier? Okay. How how early would work for you? Um, it looks like any time from noon on is fine. There's a three o'clock meeting, okay. so. Yeah, what about um, what about 1 p.m. instead? Would that work? I gave up golf for a tree commission meeting at 9.30, and I'll run till 11, lunch. Yes, 3 p.m. Okay. So I mean, one, some people share their calendars, and I thought I would that doesn't join work for in. You. Thank you, so 1 p.m. 1 p.m. I think Councilman okay. Perry has an issue. Make one work. Yeah. Um, have to be after four for me. Okay. Um, could it be at four, or do you mean after four as uh, in four? I can make four work, yeah. Four? Would four work? No? I'm out of town at that point. Okay. Let's try Let's... maybe a different day. Yeah. It's probably, it's typically easier if you say what works. Uh, any, any day after, you know, uh, usually after 4.30 will work, um, just that. I work until four, so. Okay, what about the following day, Thursday, at um, week 5 p.m., would that work? Not not this week for me, but let's stay unless you'd want to cover. I might have to be there. Okay. Hours. Thursday? Thursday, five. Thursday? Five, I'm yeah. I'm good. Okay. And you're welcome to announce it now if you would like. Okay, I would like to announce a street sidewalks and sewer meeting at 5 p.m. on August 4th. Um, should I announce the location? The yep, the location and the purpose. Um, should we just meet here, is that fine? Yeah. Okay, in City Hall Chambers um, for the purpose of um, to discuss, Sorry, I'm just, no, you're okay, you're okay. To discuss mayor's request, request for legislation number 22-26, traffic signal improvement project for Circular Street and Clinton Avenue. Thank you, and any other business. <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> got that part. Thank you, thank you. Okay, is there any other business to come before council this evening? Uh, Law director. Yeah, just to, um, not to put you on the spot, Kevin, but um, before you can take any official action, you need to have the oath administered to you. I don't know if you had any particular plans for that. We do have the oath ready for you this evening, and um, we could administer the oath uh, live streaming with the public if you would like right now. Is that okay? If, if Great. That's all right yeah, absolutely. With, I welcome it. Why don't you join me? And... Constitution of the State of Ohio, the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and the Charter of the City of Tippin. The Charter of the City of Tippin. I will, in all respects, I will, in all respects, uphold and enforce, uphold and enforce the general laws of the State of Ohio, the general laws of the State of Ohio, and the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Tippin. And the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Tippin. And will faithfully discharge. And will faithfully discharge. The duties of third ward council member. The duties of third ward council member of the city of Tippin, Seneca County, Ohio. 
city of Sidman and Seneca County tonight, upon which our South Grand Prix is about to come to an end. Congratulations. Awesome, thank you. Is there any other business? Yes, city administrator. Sure. Just a couple of announcements for council. Uh, Traffic Safety Committee met last week. We have been monitoring the Frost Parkway and market signal for 150 days now. Uh, it has been bagged for the last 60 days. Uh, the intent is to remove that signal next week, so that signal will be, uh, or this week yet, I'm sorry, uh, be taken out this week. Uh, we did receive only two letters regarding it. We've received a lot of positive comments from the public about it, uh, so the intent is to remove that signal uh, later this week. Uh, as you all know, finance is relocated into this building for the general public's awareness, all of the finance offices to include sewer revenue and our tax office are now located in this building. So should you come here, we will help you find where we have squirreled them away in the various offices around the building. Some of them are more challenging than the others. The sewer revenue department, however, is right inside the front door, so you should have no problems finding that. Uh, however, the tax office is a little more challenging on the uh, second floor, way back in the back near the rear fire escape. So we'll be happy to escort you to that office and get you back out again should you need to see them. We are going to be installing a drop box for the convenience of the public at the curb in front of City Hall so that you can drop off sewer revenue payments and any tax payments directly into that drop box. It should be installed later this week uh, the pad is already out there waiting for it, and we'll be putting that on that pad later uh, later this week as well. And then at the next meeting, uh, there will be two organizations that will be coming on the eight, on the 15th uh, to make short presentation during the mayor's report. One is uh, a company known as Omnifiber. They're going to be bringing fiber to the city of Tiffin, Tiffin, installing fiber throughout the city. So their representative will be here to talk a little about that project. And then Rumpke, our uh, trash and uh, recycle hauler, is coming to, dis to discuss their contract and uh, bring you up to date on our relationship with Rumpke. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Questions for the city administrator? Okay, is there any other business to come before council? Councilman Jones. Thank you, Madam President. I'm not sure if this is business for council, but I thought I would share with the group. I did some after the fact homework. We passed ordinance, some number, city administrator twice in the past month explained the $18,000 to the fire department, police department, city employee exercise equipment. I was walking by the fire department one day went up to a 24-year veteran, I didn't catch the gentleman's name, asked him if I could look at the weight workout room just for my benefit. He took me down in the dungeons, I've never been down there, unlocked the door. The equipment is antiquated with the capital A. I'm not a workout person, but he went on to explain a lot of them is single use motions and with this new equipment, <coughs> it would, uh, give them more floor space, et cetera, and et cetera. I made the mistake of asking him, instead of $18,000, couldn't we pay every firefighter, police officer, city employees $10 a month and go out to whatever that other exercise place is? Wrong thing to say. He came up with a number of employees at $10 a month for the next 30 years would be a large figure, so. I suggested to him that he come back to city council and ask for another two or three thousand dollars. So that's my update. Wow, well, I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, thanks for your help with the budget. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else? Okay, seeing none, we will stand adjourned. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.